If you were near, uh, nigga, I'm old. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you want to see the full live stream that this video is from, click the link in the description down below. But before we get into this, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe, and let's get it. Who is more honest? Men and women lie detector test. I was like, oh, maybe someone said something crazy. I, was, I wasn't trying to look, go too many down because then someone might say something that it wouldn't be a genuine reaction. But let's see, man. Look. Are you good in bed? Who do you think is more likely to lie when faced with such intimate- Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, you know- Do you like the way you look? Are you good in bed? Who do you think- Okay, the first glance, old girl right here, I was like, hold on, I gotta see what's up. Is more likely to lie when- She still look good, but the first glance, I was like, ooh, you know? Faced with such intimate questions, men or women? Let's find out. Today, we're hooking three men and three women up to a lie detector test. I like round a smile one, and shit. I asked them know? all the same 10 questions. And in round two, the most honest men and women will go head to head in the hot seat. Does penis size matter? Yes, absolutely. To 100% get that on there, yes. Do you think men at their core are inherently better than women? Yes. Our expert polygraph examiner will detect every lie. Our objective is clear to find out which gender is more honest and to unearth the truth hidden within their lies. I'm Kot Takahashi. Whatever she said right there was a lie. The I already know I'm gonna have to defend myself. <laughs> I'm gonna be fighting for my life. Hold up. Welcome to the hot seat. Have you ever had a lie detection test before? Oh, at least six times. Really? Now in all honesty, well, I don't know. It kind of just depends on like, Mm. It kind of depends on what that person, like, their interactions of the day is. Now, me, I, I, I pride myself on not, li like, lying, and, and I'm not even, like, joking. There's only, there's only... Because I'm going to be honest, like, look, I was talking to someone, and then, like, I said, hey, I'm going to be honest, 100%. There's probably things that she was not gonna like, but you never took the, you never took the, not the initiative, but I guess for lack of a better word, to ask certain questions. Okay, well you're just not gonna know about those things. I'm gonna be honest. Hey, I will, I will, I will withhold information that you're not asking for. But when the information, when you're asking the information, I'm not gonna. When you're asking a question, I'm not gonna withhold it or lie. Now, the only lie that, you know, in recent memory that I've told, listen, they're like, oh, hey, you got a second job? No, y'all are just, uh, you're not going to sit there and be like, well, we need you here. So I'm going to just tell you I got a second job because you're not asking me unless I tell you I can. That's what you just got to understand. Simple. Hey, this is what I said. I'm going to work. Take it or leave it. Oh, you took it? Well, then don't ask me any more questions. Um, but when I said it, it, it depends on the day to day, I got this guy married, you know, let's say they married for like three to four years, his wife says something and like, you know, he's known her enough to, to know what not to say. Like when they ask dumb ass shit, like, bro, would you love me if I was a worm? Nigga, no one's bro. I don't care, bro. Now, let's say there's actually some more, you know, it's less stupidity and it's something where it's like, oh, am I the prettiest girl in the world? Nine, 999,999,999 times out of a billion when they if they say if they say yeah they're lying this idiot thinks there's one billion i'm just saying like those are like at first i was gonna say a th one out of a thousand but that's 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 too much so it's stuff like that now me i'm gonna be honest i'm like 
you're the person I want to be so don't ask questions like that I know that you you might not be focused on other people and I'm, I might not be focused on other people but we gotta be realistic Th things like that that's when the guys are gonna lie when it comes to the women this dude was just yapping when it comes to the women they'll lie about something like oh Like for instance, I said she looked good. Okay, I got I got to see her up close. Like sometimes the camera don't be, it don't be looking how it's supposed to be. But from how it looks right here, you know, Jim would have hurt a little bit. Now I'm not saying she she needs to go there immediately. I'm just saying like to get to that perfect perfect, you know. That was a test. No, I have not. <laughs> Are you ready to start the test? Yeah. But another woman would be like, no, she's perfect and she needs to... Bro, stop it. Okay. Are you a feminist? Yes. Do you think you're good in bed? Okay. Have you ever watched gay porn? <laughs> Yo. All right, everyone. I've just asked you all the same question. I was about to say, I thought they were just showing those few people. I'm like, damn, just out them and not the other people. We're going to find out who was telling the truth. I'm going to answer the questions too. The first question was, have you ever cheated on a romantic partner? No. Yes. No. The only the only time it's 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 been it's been acknowledged. I think cheating is when it's behind a back. It's been acknowledged by every single individual in the situation. No. <laughs> oh, okay. It was the first question. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Technically, I was in like a situationship and Stop like it. the line was kind of blurry mm. and I did like end up like hanging out with someone for a bit. I wouldn't consider it cheating, but it's something that like I don't usually do. So maybe that like got picked up. Yeah, like a micro thing. Well, let me ask the rest of you. Would you consider that cheating? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I would say yes. You're talking to me. You're talking to me. Yeah. Daymani, you said no. Cause this, this, uh oh, <laughs> this generation need to be like, bro. Oh, we're talking situationship, bro. It's, it's at a certain point. You're either friends with benefits or you're in a relationship, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it's like, it's like, wow. listen, it's like same situation, same situation. Oh, okay. though. I wouldn't consider it cheating. Was it right? <laughs> Probably not, but I, I don't think I would say it was cheating because it wasn't a relationship. Austin, you said no. Yeah, I could just tell. Bro, he looked like he had a fucking gun to his head right there, dude. You could just tell before they even, you didn't even have to edit it a certain way like how they did. Look at his, look at Austin, his, look at his eyes. You said, no. <laughs> no, like, bro, I know you're lying. You could have, hey, go ahead and uh, polygrapher, you go ahead and take, <laughs> go take a coffee break. We I don't got, think I ever, I ever cheated. You don't think you ever cheated? <laughs> you can't remember. Neither did we. <laughs> okay, all right, you said. Yes. For those of you who did cheat, do you feel guilt inside of you? Or now that we brought it up, now you're maybe realizing this is, oh, maybe I did something wrong here. Yeah, I feel like I, I knew it probably wasn't the best thing to do, but like I said, I, I, it's not something I would consider cheating. You cheated. You did too. You oh, I, I, I say yes. That's the thing. I say yes. I was like, yep. The second question I asked you all: Are you. you a feminist? Absolutely no. not. No. Hey, good no. shit. I like her. And this was the truth. Because I don't want to cross off into that. Oh, I'm feminist, and the people who are feminists who I see get be getting like a little crazy. Mm. Like, exactly. They're really, really into it. Yeah, I'm happy to be a woman. I'm okay. Like. The whole equal thing, men versus women type thing. Okay, it's, it's whatever. You know what I really don't, I, I'm, I'm just like, I don't know. It's just like too much. Like, I don't care. You don't care? Okay, I don't see, care. I can respect I'm that. Woman, and that's what it is going to be. You let them other girls, but the mm. feminists fight for all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I see you nodding, Marina, and you said. No. Yes. I liked it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was a little nervous because I really am a feminist. Why do you think it picked up? I have no idea. I can see what you're saying. I think of it more as like the definition of feminism, like at its core, is that men and women like deserve equal rights, right? Like we're all equal. We should all have like that kind of platform equity, right? Men have different strengths. Women have different strengths. I believe that. Daymani, so when asked, are you a feminist? You said. I need to like, what do you, what do you mean by that? Like support women's rights or like. Look at him yeah. trying to like. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. No. 
I, I believe in, in equal equal fights, equal battles, right? I think exactly what, what they said over there. I think everyone has their misplaced in, in one place or another, but specifically feminism, I, I don't partake. I'm, I'm not a woman, so I'm not one to preach. I, I can't preach on that because I've never, I've never lived that. Now, Ari, you said... Yeah. Yeah, of course. Why did you lie? I didn't. I feel like he told the truth. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I started like from the beginning, it. man. First wave, second wave, third wave feminism, all the way from uh, from whether that's getting people and, and women included in workspaces, all the way into uh, inclusion of trans people into the movement. Like I've been surrounded by queer women my entire life. Yeah, you look like one of those, bro. I have to take issue with that answer. Okay. Everyone, the next question I asked you all was, do you think you're good in bed? Okay. At, I'm at, like, oh, I got the best. Uh, you know what? Uh -uh. See me? Yeah. The things. Okay, for ninety percent. There's a few things where it's like, okay, I'm not sure, or I know I'm not good at, you know? And so, like, you know, I'm going to get the job. All I'm going to say is I'm going to get the job done better than, than other people. Now, I might not be doing this thing that all these other people do, but, hey, this thing that needs to get the job done, you know? I'm going to make sure you, I'm going to make sure everything's straight. And that was actually a lie. Oh, so you don't think you're okay. Tell us the truth. I mean, yeah. How are right. you in bed? It just depends. Depends. Like on the person, like yeah, that connection. So if you have the connection with the person, mm -hmm. you would feel like you're good in bed. I'm, but if you don't, then you're bad in bed. Yep, purposely. Mm. Purposely yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh, like, like, what does purposely bad look like? Starfish. Even, like, just <laughs> starfish. Yeah. You do that on purpose. Yeah, yeah it's like, like this is like, bad. It's not. Yeah, exactly. I just be like, but if I have the connection with the person, then it's 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 excellent. Marina, you said yes. Yeah, same about, yeah. I mean, yeah, that was a lie. <laughs> don't want people want to say, I don't know. <laughs> but I think I can be fun sometimes and then quite like lazy. Sabrina, you said yes. However, I it was a lie. I have all of my answers been lies so far? Yeah. Uh, so. yeah. There's something wrong with the system. I'm just going to say that. No, um, I don't know. I was in a long term yeah. relationship. And so, like, I was with that person. I feel like it's hard to gauge how good I am in bed in the general right. sense because, like, I had love for them and they had love for me. But, like, in general, am I good in bed to other people? I, I don't know. My body count's not high enough for me to, like, gauge that yet. Damani, you said. Look at her trying to throw that out there. Do I think? Yeah. He lied. However, this was a lie. <laughs> you get this big ass <laughs> laugh. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. It's, it's, the same, it's the same situation with them. Like, you'd like to think you are, but you just don't know for sure. And I feel like that doubt is what kind of gets us the false answer. What gives you that doubt? Okay. Lies. People in this video are lies. not. Lies. Women yeah. have lied to you? Aren't talking that slow, like usual video, so I'll put it in regular speed. I don't know if they have. Oh, like every single time we do it, I can do it kind of thing. And then you're like, that's not real. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. And Ari, you said. Yes. yes. Good. All right. Hey boys. What's your secret? <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Men that's crazy. Be rated on how good they are at sex, on whether they can make their partner orgasm. Should that be no. the no? Not no. always. No. 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 The goal is to always make it happen, but sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't, doesn't happen. happen. Girls' bodies okay. are different. Some kids. See, this is this is okay. This is how I know I had to get one out of one relationship. When I stop caring, bro. When I'm like, okay. I don't even care, bro. And then when, how you know when, even after that point, when I had to, you know, I still had to, I still had to get mine. Okay, that sounds wrong. No, okay. It went from, it went from a relationship to friends with benefits because I'm like, you're on some different shit. And then when I got to a point where I'm like, I don't even want this situation. You got to go to the side. Yeah, that's tough. Are you gotta be very to trash take a long time. for that. I, I don't believe that. I think it. I think it should 100% both people every time. You make her orgasm every time. That's every time. Are you That's why he's the that's truth. We you need a toy. Her here to be like, <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta bring bring friends into it, like toys. What? Sorry, toys. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Nah, he slipped. Nah, he slipped. Oh, come, no. Tommy's gonna come. <laughs> nah. That's crazy. Next Whoa, question. we didn't ask all of that, brother. We did not ask all of that. I asked you all was, would you date a plus size person? Hell no. Hell no. Nah. No, I'm sorry. I hey, she keep it a stack. You know what? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to this. I would, and we would work out. It's just me, like, I don't know, me looking at, I don't feel, I can't, I'm not attracted. But I have dated someone that's, <sighs> Oh, well, shit, my bad. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't work out. It just depends. If they got that little belly, yeah, we could, we could, we could get that out of here. 
if you just if you big and you like bro no absolutely not mm. so i guess that's yeah i'm going off that i tried it i tried it marina and sabrina you said yes, yes. we could hit though you know you know, you know we get we get we go crazy a little bit depending on you know like for instance raw is about to start in in 30 minutes that's why i kind of went like this a few minutes ago because i was trying to see how long i'll do it when i took it out of uh 1.25 speed but monday night raw is about to go live or well, she on smackdown now but nia jack she could get it you know Okay, I feel like there's something wrong because <laughs> everything has been saying I'm lying, which is just not true. Like, I'm a big, like, I don't know. I'm a big girl. I'm like 5'10". I weigh like 195 pounds, even though it may not look it. Excuse me? Uh, hold on, what? Hold on. 195 pounds, even though it may not look it. We weigh the same. Okay, so then I, I wasn't assuming. So, you know, at the gym a little bit, respectfully. Like, off rip, I said she was looking good, so you can't even get her mad at me. Um, like, bruh. You said you're five what? Big girl. I'm like 5'10". I weigh like 195 pounds. Like, you weigh more than me and we're the same height, and you're a woman. That's absolutely not. Not granted, if I seen her, like, I, I still approach, but... Even though it may not look it. And I'm still, I'm still trying to lose some. <laughs> and I don't know, like I've rocked with people who are bigger. It does not bother me. I actually, I mean, not to stereotype, like people who I've met that like externally aren't always like focused on that, do a lot of internal work. So I've met really, really kind people. And so I don't know, that's like my main thing. Daimani, stop it. Said. No. Yes. He lied. Yes. Know. And that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. I mean, <laughs> I can tell you're lying. Too. I mean, like wait, wait, when you say when you say uh, plus size, I mean, like obviously, if you're saying plus size, that's a term that comes from the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. Fashion industry famously known for being fat phobic, bro. You could be like a plus size and be like a size six or a size eight. Like, yeah, that that's crazy. Sure. That's like 80 percent of people out there. You know what I mean? Like, because 80 percent of people are eating like, too much. That I'm only attracted to people that are sizes one, zero through fives. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just not true. Mm -hmm. Okay. I asked you all, are you happy? Uh, yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm here, I guess. Absolutely, a hundred percent. Why did that look okay? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Now, a couple of us lied about this. Sabrina, why did you lie about? <laughs> oh yeah, her shit is like. <laughs> I really don't even know like how to defend myself. I feel like he's been having that problem where I believe it's the truth. Yeah. You believe you're happy. I think there's like a mind body disconnect because my heart's saying no, right? Mm. But like my mind is saying yes because I really feel like I am happy. I do want to say I think happiness comes in waves. I think it comes and goes. Exactly. And I don't think it can always stay being happy and always stay being sad. I think that there's going to be waves in life. So, you know, it's the whole reason why people say like this too shall pass. Nobody can ever just remain happy 24 seven. Austin, you were the only one who said no, and it was the truth. Why did you say no? Sometimes there's, there's real life situations that, you know, that just happen. They just happen out of nowhere. And you know, we live those every day. Mm. Unfortunately, that's my life right now. But the happiness comes from, from deep within. Sometimes, you know, I, I find sadness in just random everyday tasks. Mm. Like, is there a specific area of your life that is making you unhappy? There's been a big confidence shift in uh, picking out my outfit for today. Mm. I, had a, I had to wait like a super hard time just doing that. So You had a hard time picking out your outfit because? Uh, because I, I, I just couldn't find a shirt. I, I grew a lot of weight uh, recently. You know, just, just little things like that. It all comes at once. Yeah. If you're sad, if you're not happy, you're just mm. not happy. The next question I asked you all was, do you like the way you look? Yes. For the most part. Yeah, for, yeah, for the most part, I'm with her on that one. Um, yeah, yes. I do. Lie. Um, Ari, why did you lie? You know, I am generally happy. I think that I do have moments, uh, as everyone does, where you might feel like you're not doing enough to take care of yourself in certain areas. Is there something in particular that you're 
insecure about? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I need some pecs, man. You know? <laughs> is that important, ladies? No. A man with pecs? No. <laughs> no. Stop it. No, Stop. Put them on a lie detector. No. Stop it. Put them on a lie detector right now. I don't know. You are happy. No, I <laughs> okay. The next question I asked Man you all cat, is, bro. have you ever watched lesbian porn? Absolutely. Yes. Are you, wait, are you gonna flip them for, for the guys? <laughs> okay. Have you ever watched gay porn? Yeah. Not to, not to like... <laughs> have I seen it? Yes. Yeah, exactly. No. Not like, oh, let me search, but I, you know, I, it, I have seen it before. That's cat. I don't think that's no, expl I don't think that really can... needs an explanation either. I mean like uh, have I have I seen that yeah, exactly I've seen it. Like, like not really. Yeah, like my Twitter don't run that way, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just wanna add for like I don't know if like you guys can relate to this, but like there's this like for instance hold up. big statistic about how like women we Watch get to see like actual women having pleasure. Like a lot of like um, yeah, ho ho um, just heterosexual porn is like kind of catered towards men, mm. whereas like yeah. lesbian sex, especially. I forgot what was it. I don't remember what it was. Like one of those little things you talk about. Like, oh, would you rather this when you when you're in school and shit like that? And it was like someone, and I was like, I was like, like when you you know when it comes to. Um, oh, I think they're like, oh, I'm going to do this when I grow up. And I'm like, bro, so you're going to go into gay porn? Oh, no, no, no. I'm like, you do realize that that that's the only way that you're really going to make money like that, right? You either got to be one of the, the top like 10 at the time or you're going to have to go into that, that field. And some of the top 10 be doing both scenes because if you want to break it down gay porn is for gay guys straight porn and lesbian porn are for okay no well i mean a, a, a lesbian girl could watch gay uh straight porn okay but lesbian porn that's 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 basically for everyone besides like gay guys and then straight is for you know straight people, and then most most of them are guys. Especially if it's like amateur, like not mm -hmm. as professional, is like just like women genuinely enjoying themselves. Yeah. And I think that uh, authenticity is a big mm. turn on. Yeah, all three of you said well, yes, you know, and you were proud about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really? Proud of that. <laughs> I like that. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Austin, when I asked you, do you watch gay porn? You said yes. I feel like it's really good to check, like, to explore. Yeah, everyone has an ex exploration phase, right? Like, Curiosity. I'm not, I'm not into it now, but to be able to see like where I was when I when I was younger, being able to see like what I like, what I don't like. Do you think it's weird or strange for men to watch gay porn if they're straight, if they identify as straight? No. Yes. 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 I mean, whatever. Yes. A straight man watching gay porn? No, not if they're like not. I they think might that's, be curious. They might be like, like, what goes on in there? Like, if, no. A straight man watching gay porn? No, that, that's. See, it's like, well, are you like viewing it or are you actually sitting there like. Like, are you sitting there like when he's talking about curiosity? Are you sitting there and being like, okay, yeah, I'm good on that. Or are you sitting there and being like, okay, I'll try this once. Like, no, sir. I tried this once. No, you're done, buddy. You're done. You can never return. You can only you can only play on the, on the middle line, bro. Sorry. Well, don't you think that's a little bit of a double standard? But what I'm hearing over there, they're just like, oh, I want to see how it goes. I want to see how this does that. Like, you should, you, should, you should know already. That's kind of a good example of misogyny in a way, right? Because like here it's like two women having, like what's the difference? Like men are a little less of a man. You can't be straight and like. I don't think you know what that term means because you did not use it correctly in the slightest. Kind of explore that side. Like you have to be like on the narrow, whereas a woman, she's she can just kind of like do whatever she wants. Hmm. I'm not judging y'all. I'm just yeah. like, dang, like. I don't know about that. <laughs> if anything, if anything within that scenario, that would be misandry. I don't know. See, bro, people just be, you don't even know what you're talking about. Ooh.
The next question I asked you all was, how much money do you make? Like 40,000? Uh, that mean? Just, Not depends. a lot. I'm a college student, so very minimal. Depends. What it was last year is less than what it will, is this, this year and which will be, okay. What it is last year, no, the year before is different than it was last year. And then it's lower than it is because I tried to do this YouTube shit. And then it'll be much more next year. Because I'm like, all right, well, um, I tried it. You know, we'll, 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 we'll come back when, when we can actually go full throttle. Because when I was about to do it, my computer was like, no, I'm good. I'm a clock out. Just fuck me, huh? Maybe a couple hundred, like a week. Um, I think it's around 44 a year, 46 a year, somewhere around there. 5,200 per month. I'm not employed right now. All of you were 100% honest. Let's move on to the next one. Final question I asked you all. What is your body count? Has to be like... Well, let's see. They clot. She they lied. She lied. I already knew before to you. Be completely honest. I don't know. Yes. Um, the actual answer. I slept with both men and women. Um, it's more than thirty, but it's less than fifty. It's between the range. Uh, I'll give her that. Yeah. Let's I would see. say like three, technically. Lie. Technically. I knew this question. Was Hold on. Come up. 40 to 60. Uh, I'll give him that one, yeah. Seven. Uh, nah. 70 something. I'll give. I think he. I think well, he, I think he's telling the truth of that one. Um, you look like you be trying any and everything, bro. Start with you, Austin, because you gave a specific number. You said seven, and mm. we picked up a lie. Why is that? I've always <laughs> counted seven. Um, <laughs> I don't really keep track, right? A lot of them were when I was younger. So I might have missed a number there, and then you know maybe the lie detector was like, oh, he's thinking, he's thinking. But you didn't keep track. Seven is just the number I say. Like, I, I, <laughs> well, what's the real number? Right. I, I guess I don't know the the real number. It's probably a range, <laughs> score, but I just say seven. Who do you think is more prone to lie about body count, men or women? What women. Women. Yeah, I was going to agree with women. Uh, yeah. Why? Because they would be like, did nobody touch me? This sacred yeah. here. Mm -hmm. No, please. <laughs> you just been so many. stigma around it that is frowned upon. Yeah. Like you said, what did you, hold on, you said, you said something. Oh, six or seven? Bro, cap. You didn't even have to, once again, um, polygrapher, go ahead and take a coffee break. I'm normalized yeah. for, for men to have a high body right. count, but look down upon for women to have a, High body count. Which doesn't make sense. It doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah. It does make sense. But that's yeah. society. All right, everybody. Let's tally up all the lies and find out exactly who is the most honest woman and the most honest man. Tia, you lied a total of three times. Marina, you lied a total of four times. And now Shotty right here lied like seven times. Sabrina, you lied a total of five times. Rigged. Five times. <laughs> Daymani, you lied a total of four times. I say two at most. Austin, you lied a total of two times. Ari, you lied a total of four times. Should have been more. We have our most Should have been more. Our most honest woman here. Our most honest woman is Tia with three <laughs> lies. Yes. I could like I could just tell she would be the one most and truthful our most one out of them. Man and the most honest person in this room. Besides that body count one. With two lies. Now it's time for T and Austin to go head to head in the hot seat. Is today Sunday? No. Saturday. Are you ready to start the test? Yes. Can you afford your lifestyle? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My heart's pounding right now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Are you intimidated by other men? Yes. No. Hey, there's two. Mike Tyson and Brock Lesnar. That's it. Anyone pull up on me or some bullshit, you get an uppercut. 
and those two I said, if you pull up on me and you want to smoke and it's life or death, simple. Okay, cool. I hate to Have do it to you, but I got it. Wouldn't necessarily Probably. know if it was a crime, but I did get arrested for, um, it was on, well, let's go. I was in a domestic relationship and he put his hands on me and all I did is just spit in his face and I got arrested too. So, and got put to jail, tested to jail just one night. So is that a crime? I guess to him, I mean, to yeah. him, I don't know, but that yeah, was technically it is. Nobody. I didn't rob nobody, stop nobody, shoot nobody, so. Spitting on somebody's consent. I know exactly. what it is, but. I get, I get why they did it. Yeah. Have you ever ghosted somebody? Yes. Your what? No. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you cried? Wednesday. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. not gonna ask. It was a movie. <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, let's see, me. I don't know, probably like a month ago. And then before then, maybe a few weeks before then, and then probably like a few years before that. It was a movie, I cried during <laughs> What was the movie? What's the notebook? <laughs> Uh, Somewhere to Venus or oh, something okay. on Netflix. Oh, I love that. Oh, I like that. <laughs> and we're talking about real tears, not like, because I'd be like trying to like, okay, let me still make sure I'm like, um, like if I ever need to jump into like a a, a, a role, I could be like, I can still bring out a little bit of range. So I'm like, let me see what I can do. Do you think that you're the most attractive woman here? No. Mm. Wow. I'm honestly, for look at myself as just, yeah. How often do you exercise? Every day. What did you do exactly? Three times a week. I want to hear it. You know, every day you should know. I don't, Boom. I don't work out every okay. day. I don't go to the gym oh, yeah, every day, but I'm always doing physical lawn work, you know, physical stuff around 100. the house. What is your biggest insecurity? Um, my scars i have my uh, my skin you want to know how i got these scars all right let me see what's mine mine's probably no nah, that's not it because i understand that that's a temporary thing i was gonna say my hair but i'm like i understand it's in the awkward stages of growing out I have no idea. Maybe. I wouldn't say voice if I didn't make music, so I don't want to count that. And a lot of people hate their voice anyway. I can't, I, I can't think of anything. I, sometimes I have like really dark marks, my skin. Do you wear makeup for yourself or for others? That's the, uh, I would say both. I would okay. say myself first. I like it. It's an art. It's pretty. It's things I could do, things I could change. Like, I could take my makeup off right now. I look like a whole different bitch. Y'all be like, damn, it's just fun. Yeah, okay. Have you ever been sexually assaulted? Yes. That's insane to ask. I don't really want, I don't want to dive into that one. <laughs> sexually assaulted by a family member. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Have you ever been accused of sexually assaulting someone? Mm. Yes, I was accused. It did not happen. Mm. Have you ever had that's probably a why we fantasy? When you, you asked the uh, consensual, you could, yeah, and you could, yeah. you guys can act it out. So don't, trust me, I'm not gonna judge. What, bro? Yeah, if I'm man's, I'm like, don't put this video up, bro. Unless he's able to say no, and then it says, and then the lie detector goes like this. Even, like, women can have that fantasy. There's a lot of women who actually do have that fantasy, strange enough. But men, you say that, it's like, bro, like, I forgot what it was. Someone was saying, I was like, bro. I'm like, I don't, I, I don't necessarily, with me, I'm like, Oh, I like this one particular thing that occurs in that, but like, no, stop. I'm like, well, uh, that kind of get me on soft, bro. I can't, I can't, I can't go with that. Like a little bit of, you know, a little bit, a little bit of, you know, some of those things. That's different.
edgy or anything. So y'all can do, you know, cakes. Yeah. There yeah. has to be that consent. Yeah. And, you know, I've, I've had every fantasy there is out, out there because yeah. I've explored, right? Mm -hmm. But it's that line between consent and not consent that is a huge line. Right. And I don't, I don't mess with non-consensual. Yeah. Do you think that dad bods are attractive? Yeah. yeah they can yeah. be. I said I yes. want to go to Disneyland. I want to go out with the kids, too. I'll be stepmama, stepdad, and daddy body. I'll be mommy body. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Exactly. Oh, I knew that's cap, bro. Oh, I knew that's cap. So would you be with a man that's over 200 pounds? I have been. It's hard. Um, so it's just like eating habits. It's just that grosses me out. Like eating, like I'm always trying to change the way. Like let's eat better. Let's do this better. Let's do gym better. But I don't think. So. What is your biggest kink? If you don't mind me asking. It's okay. I don't know. A bitch. Really? Oh, so you like that? Do you like being tied up, or do you like to do the tying? Doing the tying. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Um, I don't know. Me, it's like, it'll be, it might be this one thing for a year and the one thing for this year, one thing for the next year. So I don't know, man. Dang, so you know how to tie knots in the I don't know how to do all of that, bro. I might have to use yes, a belt. Absolutely. To 100% get that on there, yes. Shit. Uh, how big is your penis? Oh. Seven inches. Yes, yeah, Cap. I knew. I knew. Bro, he said seven. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll use that one. I'll use that one. Because when you use the comparison to what you see in videos, I'm just like, oh, that's tough. And I never had anything to measure. And then it wasn't until my first time when they're like, Whoa, what is this? And I'm like, bro, come on, bro, stop capping. And then I, I don't, it couldn't, co like, like, coincidentally, someone was throwing away a measuring stick, and then I measured, you know? And I was like, okay. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm above lengthwise. But I still don't know, I still don't know the girth. So I might, you know, I might say girth. You know, just give me that little, little bitty increase in girth, and I'm chilling. That's so. I guess that's the answer to insecurity. Now I might find out later that I'm good in that too. So we gonna have to see. You know. <clears throat> okay, so you just got caught lying. So do you want to elaborate on that? <laughs> I'll call it six. But yeah, he said he said seven. <clears throat> Cap. I love the honesty all of a sudden. Okay. Have you ever made somebody uncomfortable in bed? Yep, I sure have. Yeah, she said she goes too small for me. Sorry. That's wow. I will tell you straight up. Size matters. Who asked me that? You, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm being honest. Oh. I've made some, but no, I've told some. I've made someone very uncomfortable. Like, I believe her. So. Whatever reading you're getting back there, I don't know. Would you secretly kiss a guy if you were drunk? Absolutely no. not. You don't get down like that. And I don't drink, I so like that doesn't even, it's not even applicable to me. Like, if you were super so hammered, like, just like, and that, like, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, well, somebody, you know, they saying you lying, so you got to tell me. Yeah, he got a thumbs down, mm -hmm. so. We want to know. You got a smile, too. No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I've never, I've never kissed a guy. I don't think I want to. Have you ever compared your you know what to other men? Whipped it out? Like, you know how no, not like that. Not like life? that. No. Yeah, not real life. That's insane. All right. When you when I you do when you do things like that, bro, I I question your sexuality. There's no way you do that and then try to say that you're straight. Ever been with a woman sexually? No. No drunk kiss? No. I've never I'm saying, I'm a drunk kiss? No. I know a lot of girls that be doing I that. Haven't. Well. I haven't. I haven't. Have you or would you ever get pegged? Absolutely not. Under no circumstances. Yes. I had an ex who tried to be like, I tried to be like, all that is, oh, oh well, it's, I don't care what anyone says, bruh. And even if that was the thing to say, uh, to stop me from doing, I said I'm not comfortable with doing that. So please leave me alone. No. On the window. On the table. Nice. Okay, word. Yeah, okay, I got Good it for you. you.
She girl in the middle look like she liking that. That's not. That's not. Why? I don't. Straight up like that. Have you ever been pegged? She got the No. How many times a week do you watch porn? No shit. Every day. Maybe once. Well, it did say that it was a lie. Oh. And is there a chance that you're uh, that you're lying? One time okay. I did watch it like every day, like yes. for the week, without having once. Maybe that's getting confused with that. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that happened. That. But yeah, Crazy. that was like one time. Have you ever paid for porn? No. Yeah. Are you lonely? No. All right, now let me explain on that one. So that was right after a car accident. So I'm like, I'm not going to be able to do anything for at least a year or two until I make this money and then, you know, go elsewhere so that's when I was doing it and even then bro we're on stream right now I had my OBS and I was like boom okay all right cancel you were not getting multiple multiple <laughs> purchases from me no sir absolutely not what I say Are you lonely no oh. <laughs> do you feel fulfilled by your marriage you know, different parts of my life, I would have said, yeah. Now it's kind of like, you know, it's, we're going day by day now. Yes. Let's say. Do you feel fulfilled by your marriage? <sighs> Not applicable. Now that's, that's cap. cap. That's no, cap. on your part. <laughs> he said yes. I got, I got a thumbs down. It's not true. I'm very happy. Well, you mentioned you're not happy in yourself at some point, and I think we had that. Does that also play into marriage? I'm not happy in my performance in the marriage. She gave you an out. She gave you an out. Well, you're married, but when was the last time you got laid? Last night. Nice. Three months. Yeah, but. Are you in love with somebody right yes. now? Yes. Oh. You couldn't even get that out, yes. Well. In a week, three months. A hundred percent. They say right yes. Nice. nice. Yeah, but. Are you in love with somebody? Absolutely yes. not. No. You couldn't even get that out. Yes. A hundred percent. Yeah. Oh. No. I think. I think. I think. I think. Don't. That's a I lie. I think that's the truth. I mean, I'm telling the truth. Ask me again. I bet it'll be different. <laughs> Are you in love with somebody right now? Yes, I am. You looking at me like that is making my heart go. I am. Oh, okay. 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 If you knew for a fact, maybe, like, maybe thinking about that person made her heart race. Like you wouldn't get caught. Would you cheat on your partner? No. That's how I feel too. Would you cheat? See me. Me like it's like. It, even if I knew I wasn't, but for me it's like, hey. If the question was phrased in the way, so I'd probably say no and give it the thumbs up. And then I'll say, hey, if the question was phrased like this, which was they'd be OK with it, then I'd be like, yes. On your. That's how I feel, too. Would you cheat on your current lover with an in prime Denzel Washington? Never. Why did what what made you go to Denzel? Do you That's, wish you could have more? Oh no, that's gotta be, that's gotta be a race thing. <laughs> let me chill. Let me chill. Multiple wives. All right, let me see. <clears throat> okay. Do you wish you could have multiple wives? Oh, I don't wish. I'm making that happen. Well, okay. I wish that I'd be able to like, actually do that with how things are set up. But it's gonna have to be. Basically, they're called that, but in name. You know, you can't legally have that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Like, bro, come on, bro. He can't even lie. No, no, no. Nah, that was from him thinking about it. That was from him thinking about it. Oh, it's a lie. Wow. Why are you lying? Oh, he wants to Maybe you're just trying to make it sounded like a good question. Good guy. No, I don't think I'd ever actually commit to something like that, right? The the idea of it has come up 
Sure. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. I've never actually. Yeah. Passed out. <laughs> Have you ever been with a bisexual man? Yes. Oh my God, like two relationships I found out he was. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What was this question? With a bisexual man. Yeah. Passed out. <laughs> Have you ever been with a bisexual man? Yes. yes. Well, not a not a man, but a bisexual woman. Oh my God! Like two relationships, I found out he was bi. Yes. I was like, why you just didn't tell me in the beginning? And I found out through the dude who he was with. So, at a club, and I was like standing in between them. It was so weird. Would you date anyone significantly younger than you? I'm talking 18. Like, boop. No. Even if she was really bomb, just. I mean, well, that's not significantly younger than me. Eighteen's kind of uh, is kind of pushing it. Nineteen kind of pushing it too. For me, like twenty, that's the that's the that's the sweet spot. And then people, oh, yeah, they should be twenty one because if they're not old enough to drink, listen, I don't want you to drink regardless. Maybe I could get there to twenty, even if I'm not even if. Now, even though some people don't even follow that anyway, maybe I could. Hey, don't don't go down that path. Cause that's, that's, that's substances. That's one thing that that's a no go when it comes to, when it comes to marriage and, um, and, and mother of my kids. Nah, I'm good on that. It's like gorgeous. I have only old dated women. older women. Oh, so you, you go for the cougars. Yes. Wow. Have you ever flirted while in a relationship just because you like to the attention? Yes. I've done that. Before. Yes to yes, her, not because me. Because when that time in the relationship, I wasn't getting a lot of attention from the person I was with for whatever reason we were fighting or something. So of course, I'm just gonna flirt just for the attention. Okay. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Like I have been honest this whole time. Mm, debatable. Do you exactly. miss your ex? Any no. ex? No. None of them? No. Mm, not really. Mm. Would you date a trans man? It'd be. It'd be like, oh, I'd be, you know, it'd be nice to do this. It'd be nice to do that. But it's not like, hey, I want you back in my life. Oh. Oh, no. No to the question oh, being asked to me. No. And no for her, I too. I can't. Because we would all, we would probably end up fighting. <laughs> like, we'd be, we could be best friends. <laughs> would you ever date a trans woman? Absolutely not. She was, like, really pretty. Like gorgeous, like damn, that's a bad bitch. Yes. Oh. Nah, I'm straight, so. I love it. I think so. Yeah. For real, you really yeah. dater? Oh, I like it. Could you accept the good thing song? I'm? Hey, it's a good thing I'm switching my name because I do not claim that. I don't claim what you just said. No, sir. Yes. What did it say? Oh, I like it. Could you accept a gay son? Yes. Yeah. Like, I'd rather not have that be the case but i'm not gonna you know now if it's something where it's like this is something that can be debated on i'm gonna debate against it but if it's something where it's like this is like i'm not gonna go to something else then yeah i guess i'm not gonna like disown you do you need a man to be happy? No. Hell no. no. How you feel? Exactly. Hey, hey, I know that's cap. Okay, if it's lying, I don't know. That's, I don't need no that, man. Actually, that's not cap. That's not cap. Tur A, put an E at the end, take that A, and put an O. That's what that is, bitch. Okay, uh, I'm like, I'm just saying, like, bitch and shit. I didn't mean to, you know, call you, call you a bit. No. Okay, my bad. Question Would you do this same test with your wife? Uh oh. No. Oh, tell me why. Elaborate on that, sir. <laughs> I don't think that's healthy. Okay. I don't think prying into uh, different questions yeah. in a marriage is mm. is essential. I think it's okay to ask those questions yeah. and to be honest with yeah. them. Yeah. But I don't need a polygraph. Yeah. Right. Hopefully, she knows I'm telling the truth, right. and I believe that she's telling the truth. Hmm. Hopefully, but you know this. Is I know for a fact yeah, she yeah. is. Okay. Do you value a man's looks or income more? Looks. So do you value I can believe looks that. over personality? No, I value Stop personality. It. personality. Stop it. Over looks. Okay. Exactly. Oh. Like, bro, you don't okay. you don't have to like, bro, you don't there's certain things you don't have to cut the camera. We know what the answer is. Like, stop it. 
Now, granted, it's the thing of if their looks slack a little bit, but their personality and or and everything else is up to par. Okay, yeah, we cool. If the money's not up to par, everything else is great, and the money's you know it's it's not there, but you know it at least has to be to a certain level. Sorry, you could be so fine and then just have the shittiest personality. I'm not gonna. Mm -mm. Yeah, I get that. You see, How do you really feel that's about truthful. commitment and marriage? I think there's a a big pressure hmm. uh, to get married. Commitment doesn't have to mean marriage. Exactly. Right? And I think marriage is a great thing, but the paper doesn't mean anything. Exactly. I mean, it, it, it solidifies it, but it should already be solidified without paper saying so. Would you date a guy that's under five foot six? No. Yeah, that was not even a question. Do you think your parents would approve if you came home with a woman of color? Yes. Okay, are you sure about that? You got the smile and everything. Okay, What's that's that? cute. Have you ever said the N-word out of the context of a song? Yeah. Yes. Oh, have you? Okay. Like, bro, I don't care, was bro. Was recent? No. Last night when he was getting laid? <laughs> no. Oh. I'm just playing. Listen to that one song. I grew up in a, in a different place, right? I didn't grow up in, in California mm -hmm. where it's known taboo. I mean, it, it's always known taboo, right? Like. Mm -hmm. It's, that's not a thing I'm about anymore, yeah. right? Yeah. But when, when I was a kid, I grew up in, in the country, right? Yeah. So it, it was just different. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about like pro-gun situation? Oh, I love guns. Exactly. Yeah. Hey. yeah? Yes, Are you I a hunter? How many you got? Yes. Zero. Hey, that's my, hey. But you let him know? He got some yes. points though. I mean, I mean. He's in LA. See, he went from zero to one. Are you pro-life or pro-choice? Oh. Pro-choice. Okay. Was there ever a point in your life, life where you were suicidal? Yeah, absolutely. At any point in your life, have you ever been suicidal? Yes. Yes. Are you still currently? No. Congratulations. That's awesome. Who do you think is more fit to be president, Trump or Biden? Trump. Uh, with the way these prices are right now and everything is going up, it's insane. Oh, Donald Trump. Sorry, guys. Hey, hey, no, don't, hey, don't, 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 don't apologize. Don't apologize. Hey, you get a W in my book. Hey, man. Who are you voting for? What'd you say? Sorry, guys. Let me get some haters on that. Nah, you Who good, you, you good. this upcoming election? Hey. Kennedy. Damn, that was a, whew. damn, I'm dodging that. Way to throw away your vote. Hey, I like Kennedy to a certain extent, you know? But he's not, like, he's not winning. So I don't know what you think this is. Honestly, me too. So, I get it. Do you think Donald Trump assaulted E. Jean Carroll? No. no. Do you believe any of the rumors that have come out with him, like, in regards to sexual harassment, have some kind of basis to them? I not for the possible. most part. Exactly. I, I have no idea. I don't know him personally. And I, I can't make those decisions of his character mm -hmm. just based off of what I see on the social media. Exactly. Because it, it goes both way. There's, there's evils against him and there's evils for him, mm -hmm. right? And that, go, that goes for everybody. So I, did he do it? I have no idea. He could have. He might have. He might not have. I don't know. Blue lives matter or black lives matter? Blue. They're both important. Okay, yeah, that's a good answer. There are corrupts on both sides. There are corrupt cops. Stop. I just gave you a W. Don't look like that. And there's corrupt black lives. Right? I, I, don't, I don't support a side. I listen and I digest the information, but I don't have a stance. Were you active in protests surrounding the death of George Floyd and BLM? During Absolutely the not. Sorry, I wasn't. I didn't get out there. Good shit, good shit. I was too busy trying to work, find a job. Was that, was that around COVID time? There was just a lot going on. It was tanks down the street, and I just didn't want to get swung on. It was a lot of shit going on. So I guess I supported it from my home. Are you a racist? No. Let me find out. Like, bro. Do you think you'll say you'll get on one side and then you'll say something? I'm like, okay, cool. And then you'll get to the 
asking side and it's like what are you talking about hold on is who, who who's the one who said something hypocritical oh okay hold on hold on that was way back then I guess. That white people or black people are more inherently racist. White people. Black are people. More racist. I think black people. Do you believe that the system is like wired in a way that uplifts one race over another? I think the history of America did play a part. Did exactly. Inherently, just racism, mm. right? But today, I don't think that the government is uh, systematically racist. Do you think that certain races are built for certain skills? Yeah. Yes. That's what really? I'm starting to realize. So you think that some races do a better job at some things than other races? Yes. In what context? For example, Kenyans are really good at running. Mm. Mm. Okay. Different yeah. countries are a lot smarter than other countries. Yeah. Do you think that's an inherent race thing or do you think that's something biological, or are you saying it's more environmental? Uh, biological. biological. Wow. So you think people, if they're born, for example, Asian, a stereotype is that they tend to be, they perform better academically, right? So you think that that's something that they're born with. It doesn't have anything to do with, like, the country or the culture. I mean, I mean obviously, every single one of those is going to take into account. When I said, when I said, yeah, that's what I'm starting to realize recently, it says I'm like... If we're just talking about like blacks and whites, they will never make a study on are most black people smarter than most white people or are most white people smarter than most black people. Because that would all that would already be like, oh, that's a that's a racist racist uh, experiment to 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 try to come to. And then even if. Let's say it turns out to whatever side. Now, let's say it turns. I think when it says when he said white or blacks were uh, more racist. I said blacks. See, I'm not going to be someone who's. Who's completely biased because I have. My hand over here. If my man's is fucking up, hey, yo, my man's is fucking up. I'm not going to say, oh, that's my boy. So, like, you can't say nothing to him. Nah, I think that's stupid, bro. I think if you if you, your man's is messing up, make sure he right. So, if, hey. Also, that's your man's. Your man's make you look bad. Your friends make you look bad. Your family look, make you look bad. Your, 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 your city makes you look bad. Your country, your uh, ethnic background, all of these things. When it constantly comes up, it's going to make you look bad. So your man's makes a mistake. That's a mistake. But if your man's keep making that mistake, that makes you look bad as a person in relation. You might be the greatest person ever, but you're not checking your man's. You're not like making sure your man's is up to par. Same thing with your race, your country, this, that, and the third. So when it's like, oh, who's more racist? I think black. So if they did that study... And let's say it, it turned out to, to be whites. They would never have that study done because even if it turned out to be true, oh, that's racist. It was da 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 da. Instead of being like, okay, that's on average. There could be the, 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 most, the most intelligent person in the world can be this black woman. Let's just, it's, I'm just giving an example to the hypothetical. But because they did that study, they're not going to look at that. Or if they do look at that, they'll only say that. It'd be like, that's why that is incorrect. No, like, bro. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe, maybe, because I'm just like thinking about things in the world in general. That's why I said I've been real realizing that recently. I'm like, maybe we're all put on here. And if every single religion and every single race work together, we can actually 
build whatever we need to be uh to do what we're supposed to be here so i was like okay i i i think i could be incorrect i think when it comes to physicality i think black people's taking that dub okay i think when it comes to like building societies i think I think European countries, whether through colonization or within their countries and instead, I think I think they're taking that dub on that. When it comes to this, this country's taking that dub on that. But if we all came together, the the smarts, the the the, the strength, this, that, and the third could be like a fully functional world of how we need it to be. Yes. I think there is definitely some stereotypes mm -hmm. that are brought up mm -hmm. that are not biological, yeah. right? Um, but some are biologically, statistically. Okay, I would disagree, but I respect your honesty. Do you think? Hey, hey, it, it, it is what it is. Like he, he, he snapped in that one. That trans women should be able to compete in women's sports. Absolutely not. Absolutely not, not because exactly. that's the man. Exactly. And Good shit. Those, just that's what I'm saying. When, when you answer the question, you, hey, I'm rocking with you. But as soon as you get on a, like, start asking the question, I'm like, bro, what are you talking about, dude? You were you're born a man. Let's just say you're a woman, but you're still going to perform like a man regardless. You're going to be stronger. You're going to, when you work out, it's going to be different. Exactly. I think there should be a special sports for that like there's first like special needs i think that should be a special sport for a trans hey, good shit. it's just not it's just honestly not not fair put a trans woman in a boxing ring with you know a woman as just this is not right somebody will get knocked the fuck out and that's gonna be that woman because that that was born a man it's just a whole different your body's built different exactly. do you think there's a wage gap that exists absolutely not yes um i don't see it in my occupation uh, but I believe that in, in some industries, for sure, there's a wage. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. In some industries, like, and it goes for either, it it, it goes for, I mean, that's typically more of a uh, of a sales thing when there is that. Like, I, we mentioned the, the, the porn earlier. Like I said, you're going to have to go into guy and guy if you want to, unless you're one of the top 10 guys, if you really want to make money. So the women, I mean, well, with OnlyFans now they're really making the money. But let's all right. Let's just say OnlyFans. You're gonna have to. You're you're gonna have to be performing for a gay audience nine times out of ten if you're a guy in OnlyFans, unless you're one of those top guys who made that transition from the adult film industry to OF, and they got all the like the baddies coming through, and they're they're constantly going crazy. Other than that, hey man. But the idea of the wage gap in general, myth. Do you think there's equality between genders? Here we go. There will never be, but I know this is the best it's gonna be. A, oh, men get paid more. That's cap. Only men can. That's a man's job, type situation. So no. Yeah. That's, yeah I'm gonna leave that right there. Would it turn you off if your wife made more money than you? No. Oh. Okay. Does your wife make more than? Yes. Oh. Word. Oh. All right. For me, it just necessarily is about what she's doing and how often she's doing it. I'm gonna be. I'm. I'm gonna be going out there getting that paper. I don't want my. I don't want my kids raised by the state. Not happening, buddy. Sorry, especially the way things are now. Y'all recording this in LA? Hell no. I will die before I let that happen. And also, let's say, let's say you're making $100,000. That's a lot, okay? $100,000, let's say $150,000 to some people think $100,000 should be a minimum. Let's say you're making $150,000 and I'd rather I'd rather you do that and like it's it's your own stuff and you're not like overwhelmed with it where you bring negativity to me, negative like energy, oh I had a bad day and blah blah blah. 
or something where it's what I do. Like, let's say I, I you know, I boot the, the channels back up to 100%. And then I, you know, do that and they're, they're, they're streaming and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Hey, you got your stream schedule. We making sure the kids good. We cool. <clears throat> but I don't want you working for no boss. Oh, my boss said this and I don't give a fuck what he said, bro. We're going to do this. Okay. Do you think that women are smarter than men? No. I do. Honestly, I do. There's a lot of smart women, my sisters, they're, yeah. So why do you think that women are smarter than men? It's just the way they handle things, they approach things different, um, the way of, I don't want to say weird, but how they learn, how they handle, uh, it's more so how they handle things. Do you think how they handle their things core are inherently better than women? Yes. Yeah. Didn't he was a feminist? <laughs> No, like, he said he wasn't. Oh, I'm you think interested. they're better at their core? Yes. Okay. Yeah. There's just physical traits, yeah. right? When I think, when you say that, mm -hmm. I, I think fighting, surviving, mm -hmm. and just physically, yeah. Yeah. men are better fighters and gatherers. That's true. And but do you sports. see that as the most highest value of a person is their ability to fight? That's like what makes someone inherently better than someone. No, else. their ability no, to survive. I don't think. And their ability, like every day, their ability to life, survive, think. think, adapt. Like if it's the end of the world, and I'm not gonna look to you. Like I've already, I've already thought about these twenty thousand different scenarios. I'm not gonna sit there and be like, oh no, because when it gets to that moment, then you're gonna be looking at me at it like, no, bro women or men are better than each other because that's kind of more of like the question too like that's why we were all like oh wow do you think people are born gay no uh, i what? think it's a little bit but i think it's do you believe in gay marriage yes okay i mean so i feel yeah. that being gay isn't something you're born with i think it's you know something yeah like let them do their own thing but it's something that you should have a right to fulfill or just be. Now, hold on. Let them do their own thing with the state. But don't try to sit there and, hey, it's against this religion, but we're going to, hey, this, this, oh, you have to, no. You don't have, the, the, the church doesn't have to do that for you. The mosque does not have to do that for you. But, hey, the we'll have our own little our own little, uh, what's it called? Um, our own little ceremony, and then you get the certificate. Hey, cool. By all means, do you? But you, the pastor says no. The yeah, it's no, bro. When when people start growing up, they figure out what they like and what they don't like, and I don't. It's just like if I liked panda bears or polar bears, yeah. right? Mm. That that's how I see it. But. When gay people say they were born that way, you don't believe them? I do believe them. If they tell me specifically, I, you know, I'd, I'm a trusting person. If that's, if that's how they feel, that's, that's how they feel. I just wasn't born either way. It's life experiences that brought me to being straight. I hope I was honest with you fellas. For the most part. And <laughs> I see some crazy stuff, man. Nice job. All right, everybody. Now it's time to find out who the most honest person truly is. <sighs> Tia, will you step forward? Tell her she is not Austin, the most. Will you step forward? Oh, damn. Oh, big step. Are you ready to find out who is more honest? Oh my God. This isn't just about you two. This is about men and women everywhere. I was the most honest. Yes, yes. Oh, no, I was no. the most honest. I feel, <laughs> I feel like she beat you in the end because, yeah, she had like a couple lies in there, but like you tried to get, well, well, you did like some of the times when I'm like, ooh, he probably gonna lie in this when you told the truth. But like sometimes, I don't know why you will lie about Peg and I feel like that one, that one was cap, bro. 
Not like you, but on the polygraph. <laughs> it it was cast everywhere. Tia, during your time in the hot seat, you lied six times. Austin, during your time in the hot seat, you lied. Tied. A total of. Five or five seven. Five times. <laughs> oh my oh. God. We have our most <laughs> honest person here, Austin. By one? By one. <laughs> hey, we'll tell you. About. No. Uh, By one. That's a tie. Got you. What? I want to know, Austin, how does it feel to be the most honest person here? Feels nice to, to represent my, my boys here. And I mean, it really doesn't matter, right? <laughs> it's, it's women and men. It doesn't matter. Let me see, let me see what the commerce is saying. Excellent. You have just I'll solved play whether play. men or women are most honest and it doesn't matter. By one, homie. Get that right. Ladies, well, I'm not bad. Yeah. We're, the most, we're, we're, we're the most honest, but, you know, they could have won anyway. Can How someone like... Is honesty to you? Is it okay... Exactly. Thank you. I, lie sometimes or little... Okay, yeah, you're done, buddy. Um, I'm glad someone actually called it out. Exactly. That is misogyny. No, it's not, dumbass. See, you're a fucking idiot. You don't even know what you're talking about. Sorry, I meant no you didn't. You didn't know the definition until they told you, until you read these comments before you, bruh. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, let me go past that thread, actually. Yeah, they were going, there was on his head top, bro. Yeah, they pick up stress. He was probably too nervous. I think. Oh yeah, that's what it was with the with the peg in it. And there was another one where his like he started, then he stopped, and it was kind of like he was contemplating where whether to say it or not. Like you're always gonna lie about wanting to do that, and they don't want to do that. Well, I guess if they want to seem progressive, but like he did say for his last couple answers, like he gave the correct answer. Thank you.